I never really thought I was going to start rowing, um, but then I'd heard a lot of stories and when we were in grade eight, the first eight had just won Head of River that year and I remember hearing about it in the school and hearing all the girls talk about it. It just seemed like such a fun thing to be a part of and you know, might as well give it a go and I haven't looked back. It's a good decision. <laughs> my sister and my cousins all did rowing and at first I was dead set on not doing it but then when I came to my first regatta I just fell in love and I really wanted to do rowing so I started. So at school I always see all the older girls that used to row and used to always like be a part of such a big community and a really supportive environment and I guess I just wanted to be a part of that. Drew at home came out to Gundawindi for like a sports day and I went and I just saw rowing and I was tried it and I was like oh my gosh I really want to do this and it was just amazing I just loved it. Such a community and a vibe and it just was awesome. The best part of rowing I think would just be like spending time together with everyone because obviously with all the early mornings and trainings you really get to know everyone and yeah not just in your crew but literally like everyone in the whole rowing squad gets so close and I really love that. It is hard waking up really early, but when you have like everyone around you, it makes it so much easier. And like getting to see the sun rises each morning. It is all dark behind, like around you and all you can really hear is your cocks and like the coxes of the other boats and like the noise that the boat's making. And as you like row and you like see the sunrise, like I feel like as you sort of start to like wake up and switch on, like the sun comes up at the same time. It feels so nice to just like, you just glide along the water and like, yeah, of course we catch crabs and sometimes the water's like really rocky, but once like we're all in time, it's just so good. I wish they told me that I would have to commit to it. Like my whole life revolves around rowing now. <laughs> like I get invited somewhere, I'm like, no, I hate rowing or <laughs> what's going on up? Oh, rowing, <laughs> everything is around rowing. <laughs> It's a lifestyle. <laughs> I love rowing. Like it's, I don't know, it's just part of my life now. <laughs> it's me. It is a hard sport and it's not always going to be easy. I don't know, like when you have something that you really, really love and like you love and then you just get that feeling and it's like kind of tingly in your stomach and you just love it so much. And it's just really good. I do really like enjoy the community and like how everyone, it's like different to lots of other sports and how you're always with that team and like you get to see everyone and not just your grade, like you see all the other girls from like year 10 and 12 and year eight. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed being able to like just see everyone in the mornings, like even when it's tough, you still got a lot of people around you. You know, we spend more time with these girls and with these coaches and with these parents than we do at school and with our own family over these 20 weeks that we train. And I think it is just a massive family and that feeling when you're all on the boat and you know every single one of you have put in everything you can into every stroke and it finally clicks and you lock in. It's, it's such an awesome feeling and the girls always say whenever it happens, I can never take the smile off my face when I'm coxing. It's, yeah, it's just a really big family and I think it's something that's really special to be a part of. In days of yore, with oars in hand, upon the water we take a stand. A vessel sleek upon the tide, rowing forth with hearts open wide. Muscles strained and rhythms true, each stroke a dance as waters grew. The river's song a gentle guide as we embarked on journeys wide. Through sunlit mornings and twilight's grace, rowing's rhythms to a steady pace. Together we forged a bond anew, in nature's realm our spirits grew. O ancient art of strength and grace, Rowing on through time and space, with every pull a tale unfurled of unity, courage and a watery world. So let us remember the days of old, 
where rowing stories were often told. A tribute to waters and friendship sown in echoes of oars forever known. Attention. Rope. Rope. I think my proudest moment would be Head of River last year when we came third because that was the first time I had placed at a Head of River and yeah it just felt really good like being on the podium with like all your friends. It was a true like testimony of the hard work and dedication that each and every single one of those girls did put in. Like I think we all found a way to connect and pull it together and I generally don't think I've ever been so happy in my life when we cross that finish line. I think actually when everyone's like doing their like 1K, like their trials and everyone's like cheering on that one person and you can see that it's making them go faster and that they're like, yeah, like when everyone's like cheering everyone on and you can tell that it's making a difference and that it's like everyone's sort of like bonding like that. I think it always makes me really like proud when the girls like cheering each other on. That really makes me happy. myself for a race I just I like to like stay with my crew with my friends and the crew it, it makes me a bit less nervous knowing that they're by my side so I always like to stick with them and like do a warm-up with them together and yeah just obviously have a crew chat with our coach before we go out the girls see us at school and they say oh you must be so tired from rowing and of course we are but I think we forget that our coaches are up there with us every hour, making sure, you know, they have the plans for the session, they're prepped, they're ready, and they're waiting on the bank, and as soon as they send us off, you know, their work's done, but I know that all they ever want to do is see us succeed, and I think just having that support is something that should never go unnoticed. Good luck, girls! Really proud of everything we've achieved this season. Go out there, give it your best, and you're going to do amazing. Can I bring the seniors in for their last group circle at YWA? It's got to be like gentle, like As loud, like not even kidding, like incredibly loud. Like okay. don't have a no, I mean incredibly loud. Let's go lesbian. Let's go lesbian. for our boat is just to again try and do as best we can through every stroke. Realistically I'd rather a solid good connected race like and you come off the water feeling proud of like what you've done especially like since it's most of our last year I think I want to be proud of the effort and like how we execute the race plan well and come off with our chest side.
the amount of effort you put in is incredible and the amount of hard work that everyone bands together, not only the girls, but the coaches, the parents, the supporters, the friends. Like, it doesn't just take us, it takes so many other people to get the boats out there, get the brekkies made, do all the fundraising. Like, I think I would just have to say, like, thank you so much for everything because it is not easy. And we know it's not easy and yet we've still put up this amazing fight and we've come out with the best result possible.